Hey guys and welcome to another video. So in this one I'll cover how to make this simple elevator which works by pressing a key on the keyboard. It's a very simple setup and it's made almost exactly like the door we made in the previous video. So let's jump right in and get started. Okay, let's make a blueprint, select actor, name it elevator and open it up. First, I need a static mesh for the elevator. I have imported a model into the project, but if you don't have a model, you can just use a simple box. Here in the components tab, I'm gonna add a static mesh and then here select the mesh I want to have as my elevator. Now I'm gonna drag it into the scene and place it in the frame. Alright, now let's go to the event graph and make the code for the movement functionality. First thing I need here is a box collision. Let's add it to the event graph by typing box in the components tab and place it inside the elevator. This is the area in which the player is allowed to give input to the blueprint and when he is outside this area, he cannot do that anymore. This way we control the area in which he can interact with the elevator so he cannot move the elevator from everywhere in the level. Ok, now here right click on the box and select on components begin overlap. When he overlaps with the box, we want to be able to give input so let's add enable input. Right click on the box again and this time add on components and overlap. When he is outside the box, we don't want him to be able to give input so add a disable input node and for the controllers, add a get player controller node and now we are ready to go. Alright, now let's add a key here by typing keyboard and selecting one of these guys here. Here you can change the key to whatever you want. Let's go with E and now when we press E on the keyboard, whatever we make here will be called. What we need here is a set relative location function. Make sure the static mesh is the target and now here we can define its new location after we hit E on the keyboard. Let's go with 300 and play the game. Yeah, as you can see when I hit E, it goes to its new location and works correctly. What we want here is to make it move smoothly and also be able to make it go back by pressing E again. We are going to do that with a timeline node. Right click and type timeline and add it to the event graph. What it does is that it outputs the values incrementally based on the timeline and allows us to control the speed of the movement between the first and the second location. Open it up and here add a vector track. We don't want to make it move along the y and the x axis and we only need to work with the z axis. So let's lock them up and only keep the z axis unlocked so we can work with it easily. This here is the length of the timeline and in our case 3 seconds is enough. But of course based on your project and the speed you are looking for you can tweak the value and go with what works best for you. Here I'm gonna right click and add a key and also add another one at the end of the line. This is the first location of the elevator so the time and value should be 0 and 0 and the other one should be 3 and 300. Meaning that after 3 seconds it should move 300 centimeters along the z-axis. The final thing I'm gonna do here is that I'm gonna select them both and here hit auto to make this curve. This means that the speed at the start and at the end of the movement will be less than the middle, which makes it move smoother and more natural. Alright, now let's compile, play the game and as you can see it's working perfectly. In order to make it go back when we press E again, here we need a flip-flop node. And then we should connect the second output to the reverse pin in the timeline. This means that when we press E for the first time, the timeline will be played as we discussed and when we hit it again, it will be played in reverse, so the elevator goes back to its first position. Also make sure that the box is a child to the static mesh, so it moves along with it when the elevator is changing its location. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching, see you in the next one.